Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another transformation uh, video by your boy Kennedy Daily. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I transformed this oversized XL, kinda big, kinda large, on your boy sweater that I got from the thrift store for two dollars and transform it into more of a fitted looking sweater and I really like this sweater because it has that like kind of like bleach wash mineral wash look to it it says Rosario a state of mind I just really like the the color of the sweatshirt that is what I'm gonna show you guys how to do to, 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 to today that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today and without further ado let's get straight into the plants formation okay so the first thing we need to do is disassemble the sweater grab a pair of scissors and cut off both sleeves in addition you want to cut off the rib knit along the bottom of the sweater put those three pieces aside for now grab a sweater that fits you well and place it over the center of the sweater when shortening and slimming the sweater please make sure to always have an, at least a two inch seam allowance Unless you want the sweater to be super fitted to your body, make sure to add in a seam allowance. Once you're done with all the cutting, it should roughly look like this. Now grab your sleeves and turn them inside out. Make sure that the seam is facing you. Grab your fitted sweater and place it over the baggy sleeve. Again, you want to leave at least a 2 inch seam allowance when you slim up the sleeve. Now you want to grab the body piece and open it up. Turn the sleeve right side up and place it face down over the body piece. Try to center it as well as you can. Now I know that no one's perfect and trust me I am not perfect. So just try your best to get it really centered on the where the, where the, where the previous armhole used to be. If you guys are confused on where to put it down. Okay, anyways. So once it's centered, make sure to pin it down so it's easier to sew. Go to your sewing machine for and do a simple zigzag stitch along the two pieces. If you don't have a zigzag stitch, you can also use a straight stitch instead. Make sure to start and end with a back stitch. <laughs> now that the sleeves are sewn on, we can close up the sweater, turn the sweater inside out and match up the sides. With everything matched up, you can proceed to pin along the open side. While that pinning is going on in the background, today's question of the day comes from thyself. If you could have any piece of clothing in the world, what would it be? Whether it be high fashion, low fashion, or something that you've been just dying to have, please let me know what that piece of clothing or shoe or whatever it is down below in the comment section below. I'm just high key curious and nosy, so uh, please put that down in the comment section below for your boy. All right, thank you. Take your sweater to your sewing machine for and do a zigzag stitch along the pinned area. Again, if you don't have a zigzag stitch, you can also use a straight stitch. Last thing we need to do is add the ribbed knit along the bottom side of the sweater. You can easily guesstimate how much you need to remove from the original length by placing the ribbed knit right under the sweater like so. Get a cutting tool and cut off the excess material. Turn the ribbed knit inside out and place pins along the open end. Take the rib knit to the sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch along the end to close up the rib knit band. Now you want to take the new ribbed knit band and place it over the bottom of the sweater. Make sure the raw ends match up and proceed to pin the two together. Pinning should probably look like this, hopefully it does, uh, okay. So for the last time, take everything to your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch along the bottom of the sweater. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that transformation. Let me know uh, what's your favorite color in the in the comment section below, and what are you doing today? Because I am interested. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on the Instagrams at Kennedy Daily. Follow me on the Snapchats at Kennedy Daily. Follow me in life. And if you decide to take pictures of me in public or see me in public ever, just say hello, because I'm, I'm really just kind of a chill person. 
that would love to say what's up to you and your crew and your mama. Say what's up to your mama. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to drop that like and subscribe if you would like to. If you would like to. Okay? I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys as always. Cat fam, we are here. Cat fam, we are here. Hashtag that cat fam. Cat fam, cat fam. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Keep it daily. Very simple. Oh, 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 o